Paul. It's nice to nice to see you from Horsham District Council. Thank you. Um, I'm just wondering if you can tell me a little bit about your role and how that's changed during the current situation, because you must have had to have adapt what you're currently doing. Oh, absolutely, yes. So I'm the Principal Environmental Health Officer for Horsham District Council, and I manage the what we call the commercial team. We're responsible primarily for things like food safety and health and safety in the workplace. And uh, yes, yeah, since lockdown, obviously we've not had premises we can go out and inspect. So. No. Um, we've had to diversify ourselves and be a bit more uh, innovative and what we have done is that we've put together a whole host of um, um, guides and guidance packs and uh, advice for local businesses on what they can do during the lockdown. There are some cases where businesses that were restaurants or cafes can diversify and do other things like takeaways or click and collect or things like that. So we've been working with businesses on that side of things and also obviously we'll be getting a lot of inquiries about social distancing. A lot of uh, retailers are wanting to know how they can manage that with their customers. Indeed. Yeah. So with the social distancing, is there support and guidance that you can provide for businesses? Because I know it's a real concern across Horsham District. We're very lucky. We've got historic market town. We've got beautiful little mm. villages. But that does mean we've got some quite narrow streets for people to walk down. And it's quite difficult. So people are concerned about that social distancing and keeping away from each other. Yes, absolutely. There's a whole host of uh, government guidance that's been put out on the government um, websites which is quite easily uh, found and, and downloadable and uh, it has been very well written easy to understand in addition to that what we've done we've looked at uh, specific areas where we've tried to give ad advice on how best to create um, um, social distancing and in some cases we what we've advised businesses to do is to draw a plan of their premises and create a one-way system trying to avoid pinch points or narrow angles where people could actually um, breach the social distancing guidelines and we've suggested things like you know a give way system so please give way to oncoming traffic and things like that it's a little bit like the highway code in a yes. certain certain aspect but they do it with with arrows on the floor creating this one-way system and it seems to work really well so I know we've got a lot of businesses that are looking at reopening from the 15th of June now they're getting ready to open, they're making adjustments to their premises. Now, I think you mentioned before we came on camera about a pack that is being provided to them. That's right, the council have created uh, what we call a high street recovery pack. And this pack is actually gonna be delivered to all non-food um, retail shops that are uh, going to be allowed to open as from the 15th and in that pack is a whole host of guidance there are some stickers there are some posters that they can put up to instruct customers to um, um, obey the social distancing um, um, rules and um, there's a whole host of, of, of stuff there that's, that's a, a readily use, usable resource for the business um, but also there are contact details in there where someone can pick the phone up or email the council speak to one of me either me or one of my colleagues and we can give specific advice over the telephone or over the internet on any specific issues that they may have we appreciate that for some businesses it's going to be a bit of a tall order um, some should are not that huge um, they will have to seriously think about the numbers of customers they're going to have to allow into the yes. shop at any one time um, but we are on hand to give that advice if they want it yes because I think we're talking about you said that there's a poster they can put in their window saying that they're open and changes to opening times and how to find them online because I think we're going to put that into the business support Facebook group so people can print more forms off if they need them, which will be really useful. More advice you can give to your customers, the better things are going to be to manage. Um, so if you are restricted for space and you're asking customers to wait outside, a poster on the, on the window asking them to do that is, is going to be um, the, the best management control there, only allowing a few people in at a time. So you've got the shops that are opening up, you said that the packs are going out to non-food shops, yeah. and they're the shops that are thinking about opening from this big date of the 15th of June. Now I've noticed across the district we've got some of the coffee shops and some of the restaurants